We start a news bulletin from the U.S., which has reported a record 53,096 new cases of COVID-19 over the past 24 hours, as the total number of infections climbed past 2.7 million. Brazil surpassed 60,000 deaths from the coronavirus after recording more than 1,000 fatalities in the last 24 hours. The virus has killed over 520,000 people worldwide and infected more than 10.8 million. This report has the details. The new coronavirus is once again surging in the Americas, especially the United States. The number of confirmed cases in the U.S. climbed to an all-time high of more than 50,000 for the second consecutive day. 40 out of 50 states are now reporting a spike in new infections as the country struggles to handle the pandemic. As cases skyrocket in Texas, Governor Greg Abbott has made face covering mandatory in all public places. One of the best ways to keep businesses open while also slowing the spread, is for everyone to wear a face covering like this when they go out. Medical studies have shown that wearing a face covering slows the spread of COVID-19 and it protects you and your family. Meanwhile in Africa, the Nigerian state of Kano ended its lockdown months after the outbreak, originally called a mysterious disease, killing hundreds of citizens. Ghana has pardoned 794 prisoners as part of measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in cluttered prisons. The World Health Organization has urged African governments to take effective measures to mitigate the risk of a surge in infections. The global health body also said there is very little risk that pets can infect their owners with COVID-19. In Asia, South Korea has reported 63 new coronavirus cases, triggering the return of tighter social distancing curbs in Seoul. It is concerning as small clusters are emerging in wide range of areas, making it harder for local governments and prevention workers doing epidemiological surveys. Tokyo has confirmed 107 new coronavirus infections, its highest daily tally in two months. But Japan's chief cabinet secretary said there is no need to reintroduce a state of emergency. 